Now, Johannesburg has had four mayors uh, in as many months. Uh, Jeff Makubo, who took over from Herman Mashaba, unfortunately died from COVID-19 complications back in July. His successor, Joladi Matongo, passed away also in an accident uh, just two months ago. And on Monday, Mpomwerane lost his mayorship to the DA's Dr. Mpopaladze. Uh, the former ANC mayor, Mpomwerane, joins us now for a conversation about what exactly happened. Former mayor, good to have you, and uh, good morning to you. I suppose my first question to you is, what went wrong? I mean, you had so many plans. We had you on right here at the South African uh, morning. So many plans you had, particularly about the likes of, you know, ESCOM and the Soweto debacle. Uh, it seemed you had a plan in motion, even though you were humble enough to say, should the party uh, place you as a, you know, a candidate, you would, of course, serve the people. But it seems the results told a different story. Good morning, uh, Jumelo. Good morning to the viewers of ENCA. Yes, indeed, um, the African National Congress lost uh, the majority on the 1st of November uh, during the local government elections. And yes, um, unfortunately, um, the, three part the three main parties, uh, the Democratic Alliance, the Action SA, and um, the Economic Freedom Fighters grouped together to unseat the ANC on Monday. And uh, that's how we lost. Mm. And uh, it is precisely because of uh, the EFF made it clear that they want to head the ANC and uh, unseat the ANC. And indeed, they did that. Um, our numbers um, were good uh, with our GLU partners. Uh, we had more edge and uh, yes, the party spoilers uh, made sure that we lost, and we lost, and we happy to be on the opposition benches. Yeah, and with to that, make sure that uh, we are. Right. With that being said, I mean, I, sure I, I've heard you being uh, quoted today saying uh, that you uh, you aim to uh, hold the DA government accountable uh, from the opposition side. What's your strategy from the opposition? Well, first of all, uh, the DA claimed that they don't have a coalition agreement with the Action SA and DA, I mean Action SA and EFF, mm. uh, that they don't have an agreement with them. Uh, we tell ourselves, wow, how are you going to pass budget without them? Uh, because um, you need 136 seats. If you don't have a coalition agreement with them, there is no way you're going to pass the budget. The African National Congress has 87 wards out of 135, so we have more wards. Mm. If the budget does not talk to our wards, we are not going to support. Uh, to start with, the first council meeting must elect chairpersons of committees. Uh, you need the majority. So uh, the DA is caught between a hard place and a rock that they must go back to their coalition partners that they claim that they don't have to beg them to elect um, chairpersons of committees with them. Mm. But I'm reliably informed, uh, Dumelo, that uh, they are now talking to our JLU partners, in particular the IFP and the PA. They're even promising them seats in executive. And we say, wow. What a strategy. Yeah. Uh, so, but it's up to the other parties to accept that they will take their seats, uh, their offer, right. and take the seats in. But as the ANC, we are not going to go to any collision with the DA, especially if they work with uh, Action SA and EFF. But I can tell you that uh, we are heading for a rough right. We are heading for a collision. Uh, it's, going to, it's not going to be easy for the DA to govern without talking to Action SA and EFF, they have a serious problem. They made a blunder. And mm. um, we're going to the interesting times coming. And, 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 and we, we, we are certain that um, the municipality is going down the spiral. Uh, we, 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 we know how the EFF work. We right. know how um, SA, a, a, SA right. Action SA work. And the DA is in a serious conundrum, and I feel for them. Exactly. Well, we have to leave it there due to time, but Mayor, uh, former Mayor, rather, I uh, appreciate you talking to us, and it seems that you sympathize uh, with the incoming, uh, you know, government um, at this point. We'll see how it plays out, especially for you as the ANC from the opposition. Thank you so much. And Paul Merani uh, for joining us uh, this morning for this conversation.